I feel like it's very timely in terms of, you know, the gender politics and how people speak to each other and all that sort of stuff. Is that timely or is it just sort of, you know, uh, a happy coincidence? Well, I think Ryan very purposefully, as any good writer does, reflects what's happening uh, in the world around him. And so I think that it's very purposeful that this new leader of the resistance is embodied in this way by Laura. She looks the way she does, speaks the way she does, which is not uh, the typical, I, I guess, cliched idea of what a military leader is supposed to, to be like. And, and, and it rubs Poe uh, the wrong way and the right way a bit. Mm -hmm. but, uh, <laughs> You know, and so it's, it's, it creates a lot of conflict in him because he has a very different, you know, more traditional strategy of how you fight. And you talked about, Laura, your character not being sort of the traditional sort of military leader. What was Ryan's sort of direction for, for Holdo specifically in terms of what she was like? Well, I think just in the invention, too, with also Ram and Kathy involved, you know, is trying to create a leader that leads with her femininity and even sensuality almost. So, um as opposed to masking it by trying to fit into a man's role. And I thought that was a great starting place for the character. I don't think you it's ever good to try and be current or try and speak directly to hot button issues with these movies. I think you just try and create good drama and you try and speak to universal themes. For me, their relationship was much more influenced by World War II movies like 12 O'Clock High or The Dawn Patrol, where you see kind of the hotshot young pilot butting heads with, you know, uh, with the veteran, you know, <laughs> and the general who's trying to keep him in his place in that dynamic. That's much more what that was inspired by. But, you know, these movies are always, you know, people see them and they're, because they speak to these universal things, because they have this drama in them, you can always apply them to, to the real world. The fact that the heir to Leia is thrown in the movie is, is your character, that almost feels like a tribute to Princess Leia in herself. And I know the movie has a dedication to her. What was it like working with her on this movie? I mean, did she offer any advice? Well, I, I, I love hearing that because the hope was to pay tribute to her by taking over um, and, uh, and to hold the lessons that she's offered as a character and um, and her wisdom, which we both get to share and, and explore, which was very beautiful. Um, but Carrie, uh, you know, her, both Leia's energy and what Carrie infused the character with was an enigma in that she led with um, this disarmed sense of self, this unapologetic self. And she gave Leia that energy, which is not a stereotype. That's someone saying, this is all of me, and this is who I'm going to be. Uh, and that is a gorgeous um, place to learn from. So I felt very lucky to know her as a fan, her energy, but also to, to get to know her as a person. Mm.